Hello everyone, I'm Cryptic Fox, and welcome back to the shop. Happy, uh, what day is it today? Tuesday? I swear to God, all the days are blending together. Pretty sure it's Tuesday. <laughs> uh, welcome everyone back to Car Mechanic Simulator 2021. The name of the game tonight is, uh, all about cash. We need to get some money. I, I uh, I installed another mod for the, uh, the McLaren F1, and I'd really like to work on that car, but, uh, I went out to find it ahead of stream today, Thinking, okay, I'll snag this car, I'll bring it back so that I know I've got it and then we don't have to hunt for it. And lo and behold, it's ridiculously expensive. Like, even in the junkyard, it was like 800 and some odd thousand dollars. So, that wasn't going to happen. <laughs> so, I thought today, instead what we do is work on uh, just quickly flipping some cars for cash. I may not even completely finish some of the cars. We might just uh, quickly churn some money on them. Uh, we'll fix up what we can. We'll do some full flips and stuff today to, uh, to get some full, uh, some full money out of those. I'm going to skip, like, test driving and aligning wheels and dyno and painting and all that stuff. Because that doesn't really matter to me today. All we want to do is generate some cash so we can build up enough of a war chest that we can go out there and get our hands on the McLaren and rebuild that thing. But welcome everyone who's here in the chat so far. Or if you're watching on the channel is, uh, after the fact, welcome as well. As always, a big thanks to everyone who's clicked on the join button to become a channel member. I really do appreciate the support. And a special thanks to all of our top tier mistakes were made members that were highlighted at the start of the stream. Um, yeah, so I have uh, I have outside, actually, a car that we can we can probably tackle first. Again, I may not do this whole thing because I don't even know that this car is worth it. Uh, this is the Sakura GT20. Uh... Apparently, I bought it for like twenty thousand. It's currently sellable. I could currently sell it for like twenty five thousand one forty two, and I haven't even washed it or anything. Um, but if we can uh, quickly uh, flip this thing over, we'll make some cash. Um, then we'll go to the junkyard, and I'm thinking we might grab maybe a couple of cars there, and some of those we we may not even finish. We might just like redo the body on it, quickly redo some high value items like the wow, that was I got this one in a barn. Um, Quickly redo some things like the engine block, uh, the head, the headers. Uh, if we can do those, and potentially the gearbox, and then we'll just sell them off, make like a quick ten thousand on them. Do that a few times, see what we can get. Um, if we can get our hands on the uh, um, the generic Lamborghini they have in the game, that thing sells for like a couple couple hundred thousand when you sell it off. So then that would give us a nice boost too. But uh, we'll see what we can do. I mean, um, I'm not sure how many cars we'll get through tonight. But uh, we'll do what we can and try to get what cash we can. And then, uh, with any luck, we'll be able to find the McLaren out in the junkyard if we can get a, get a hold of it. Um, I even tried looking in the auction, but in the auction it was even more expensive. So I'm not doing that. Or at least it would have been if I'd, like, bid it all the way up. Hey, Fox, not sure if you saw, but Surviving Mars is free until noon or something tomorrow on Steam. I think you did some playthroughs. I did play it a little bit, yeah. I didn't actually do a full playthrough of it, but I did play it a few times. Oh, this thing's actually in reasonably good condition, it looks like. May not get a ton of money off this one because it's actually doesn't look like it's in, like it's in that bad of a shape actually. But we'll uh, we'll rip out what we can of it, fix what we can, see what kind of cash we can get off it. Name of the game today is going to be all about just doing stuff quickly. Not really worried about uh, fancy stuff and things. It's all about the cash. Got to get cash money, man. Cash money. Car am I working on? This is the uh, Sakura GT20. Uh, I can't remember what uh, what car this actually is in real life. Hold on one second. Let me just double check. Ah, I hate that I can't click off this stupid game. <laughs> uh, let's see. This is the uh, GT20. So this is the Toyota 2000 GT. 1967, apparently, is what it is in, in real world things. Oops, sorry. I got to... Got my... Accidentally left my stream. That's a brilliant thing. Now I can't even see the chat because I'm smart that way. I'm having a good day. Today is like I had yesterday off, so today is like Monday Redux for me. <laughs> hey, box of McLaren F1 sells for 19 million. So be on the lookout. Yeah, I found them already, but I can't afford to buy it. So our goal today is to uh, to get to the point where I have enough cash on hand that we can go buy one. I mean, once you buy and sell that thing after fixing it up. You're pretty much set. You don't need money in the game anymore because you're rich as can be. Someone clipped me leaving my own chat. <laughs> there wouldn't be a whole lot to see on that clip, though. That'd be the problem. <laughs> McLaren Stupider wins the game. Well, it's a, it's a mod that somebody put in the game. I, I'm not even all that worried about the cash side of it so much. Uh, this is the first car that we've run into in a while that I haven't had the money to buy. 
I just want to rebuild it. But you're right. Like by the time you get 19 million dollars in cash from selling that thing, you know you're not really uh, worried about anything. <laughs> Make sure you equip rocket launchers and oil slick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Is this the old James Bond car? We got ourselves set up as a super spy or something so we can uh, have all the cool toys. I sell the McLaren so I can fix up old cars in the game. Yeah, that's the idea. Like, if you sell it, you're going to have just like. It's effectively unlimited cash at that point. Because nothing in the game is that expensive. So once you have like 19 million dollars to work with, you can just buy and work on whatever you want. It's a cheat. Yeah, uh, kind of, I guess, in the sense. But I don't know. What, I don't know how they define the the value of it in the game. I guess they just tried. Is that like a the the approximate real world value of a new one? They're pretty good on vacation right now. I'm missing this week to school because of it. Oh, nice. Yeah, I had uh, the last two weeks on vacation from work, and I have to say it was, uh, it was really good. I was not really thrilled to go back to work today. I mean, not that I actually had to go to work because I work from home now. But it was just that thing of going back to the grind and doing the, uh, doing the same old job and stuff. I had the opportunity a little bit over the past two weeks to actually record some stuff and upload too, which was kind of nice. Now that I'm busy working again, that's gonna kind of go away. Need to get to the point I can just do this full time and then I don't have to worry about it. And then I'm gonna do what I want. Kind of a little ways off of that yet though. <laughs> what about those shows up as I'm looking to get uh, your driver's permit? Oh yeah, yeah, well, yeah, well don't, uh, you know, if we end up driving into these cars in the game, don't, um, don't, to, don't take any lessons from me, okay? For your, for your permit. <laughs> it's, uh, I drive, uh, I drive cars in video games in ways that you should definitely never drive in real life. Which car mechanic simulator is my favorite? Well, I mean, I would say this one. Um, just because I think it's it runs so smooth. Um, I could play on it on the high-end graphics and it... I, you know, granted, I'm on a newer computer than I had when I played CMS 2018. Um, but everything so far is working really well on this one. And the car handling is better in, in uh, 2021 versus 2018. So I think I would lean towards this one. Now, I didn't play 2015, though, so I might be biased. I do not attend the Cryptic Fox School of Driving. I should <laughs> I have to make some merch for the Cryptic Fox School of Driving. Featuring like a flaming car wreck on its roof or something. <laughs> it's bad enough I'm getting lectures now by uh, by YouTube video comment about how bad my driving is. <laughs> like customizing the shop, that was fun. Yeah, that was kind of cool. I wonder if uh, well they have them in this too. Um, so you can you can do some stuff, but I'd like to be able to do like the banners and things. I'd like to change the signage out in front of the shop too. That's weird. I can't remove the front exhaust section until I take off the exhaust manifolds. Said what? Uh, this has an oil pan. I should probably drain the oil out of this thing. Otherwise, we're gonna have a mess. Feel ten times better than yesterday. That's good. Being sick sucks. So happy you're playing this fox. I love cars, and you want to become a mechanic because of it. Nice. That's a good job. Make sure you learn how to fix electric cars. I have a feeling that's going to become important. Actually, in this game, we should... Oh, we should probably try and get our hands on an electric car, actually. In this game, when you fix up the battery packs, you make crazy money off them. Um, so if our job today is to get... Uh, to get cash, then we're probably going to want to try and get our hands on an electric car if we can find one. All right, let's get this pulled out of here. Do you have any tips for this game? I have a couple that, that are probably helpful. Um, when you start off playing the game, if, I don't know how far into it you are or if you're just considering it. 
<clears throat> Leveling up helps you unlock stuff in your toolkit that gives you like different abilities and things in the game. To get experience fast, it's a good idea to get the unlock your diagnostic tools early and then use them on every car you work on. Every one of the diagnostics that you can. Um, because you get experience for doing all of it. And then also, um, you have the option of inspecting the vehicle. So if you um, if you right-click on the vehicle and choose the, uh, the examination mode, then you can get experience just for clicking and holding and examining all the parts, too. Each part it examines, you get XP for. And then every piece you take off of the car, you get XP, and every piece you put back on, you get XP. So that'll help you level up faster if you do it that way. I didn't do a lot of that early on. I was just focused on uh, completing some jobs and stuff, and I, that's a missed opportunity. Good quick leveling. And then once you get enough cash that you can, and you're a high enough level that you can go to the junkyard, you can make some quick money to work on customer jobs by buying cars and only partially fixing them. Focus on the high value parts like uh, engine blocks, gearboxes, body condition, that kind of stuff. That can help uh, put some money in your pocket to work on other cars. Oh, that's why. It's actually bolted on there. I see Ob Greetings from Tennessee. Rebuild a Ford F-150 today, getting 89k for it. Nice. Is that a mod? The Ford F-150? I know there's the old F-100, um, but that's not worth that much money. Friend of the server on Xbox DayZ, but you're mainly talking about not crashing your <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Here's a tip, just rebuild every car you come across. Yeah, well initially you, you, you have trouble doing that because you just don't have the money, right? It's kind of the hard part. You gotta have money to make money. Just like in the real world. Get this out of here. Alright, that's good. Uh, let's go see what we can fix with the body and we'll get that back together and then we'll start buying parts here. That's not the right one. That's what I want. Should be able to fix quite a bit of it, because it was in pretty good condition. The glass, we can't do anything about. We'll have to buy that. But... Alright, body's fixed. Oops, wrong one. Ah! I rushed too much, hitting all the wrong buttons. Seeing people getting McLaren F1, uh, yeah, I'm trying to get the McLaren, but I gotta get some money. It's expensive. Too expensive. Nope. What's that beer we need? Windshield we need? Is that glass still in there? It is. Oh, actually, did I fix the taillights? I think I had only one of them, right? Oh, that's not fixed. What am I doing? Get out of there. This door, I think, was missing. Yep. Uh, right side mirror? Got that one fixed, at least. Okay. Get some body works. Uh, let's see. We needed, uh, well, all the glass parts, anyway. Uh, we need the right front door and the window. More glass. I think we need the headlights, right? Left side mirror, tail light, glass, headlight, tail light, glass. That should give us what we need. Way to fully restoring three uh, three star Lamborghini ripoff. Getting the salvage is so time consuming. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's um, I I'm kind of hoping they do something to change that around a bit. 
Because it's excruciating trying to get a decent amount of salvage to do stuff with. Like I have 3,200, and, and it sounds like it should be a lot, considering how little you get from each part you salvage. But it's really not. It takes so many, so many salvage parts. Okay, uh, let's take care of the interior here as long as we're over here already. Oh God, I got all kinds of stuff in my inventory here. Right, oh, oversensitive mouse. Stephen Morton, welcome to Duplicate. Thanks for clicking the join button. Appreciate the support. Welcome to Team Green. Man, even the seats were in decent shape. They were like 90 some odd percent. Okay. Kerblamo. Just like that, we've got interior and frame is uh, like 100%. The body will be 100% once we get the uh, license plates on this thing. We're just gonna, I'm gonna quickly sell this off anyway. I'm just gonna go with the standard plates and not pay any attention to where they're from. Don't need any special custom plates or anything for this thing. Alright. 100% everything except for the parts, of which we're only 1% because most of it is missing. <laughs> and by most of it, I mean... Well, like everything. <laughs> I, took it, I took it all off, so it's... It's all toast. Uh... Toyota G... Yeah, 2000 GT, GT 2000, whatever. Been watching our videos really in uh, really into this game. It's fun. It's a nice uh, nice chill game to play. This is the game where I put cars back together instead of destroying them the way I do in other games. Kind of like compensation in the form of manual labor for uh, all the problems I caused in other games with cars. <laughs> Do the uh, every time I do brake rotors, I never seem to have three of the four of them. Need a mod to skip the minigame? Yeah, apparently, there's nothing right now that's accessible, but. As much as, it, you know, the randomness that came up with CMS 2018, where you would just quickly click through it, and sometimes it would just fail, even if you were, like, 90%. I think I'm... As much as that was a mild irritation, I think I'm kind of okay with it. <laughs> it was just so much faster than doing the minigame. I mean, you could technically skip the minigame by just buying all brand new parts. Then you're not really maximizing your profit, and who wants to do that anyway? Kind of like when you repair two crankshafts, but only one shows up when rebuilding. Yeah. You know what mod would be good in this game is they added the magic school bus. <laughs> yeah. Man, there's, there's a lot of good mods I could get for this game, really. Modding community is hard at work already, though, so I'm sure that like, as we go along, more and more things are going to come up. There's already a, a bunch of stuff in the uh, in the Steam Workshop now. They're pretty quick. Hey, Colin, how you doing? Just sandwich all the rotors on the lathe and do all at one time. <laughs> Rotor sandwich. They have a school bus in the Steam Workshop. Do they? Nice. I'll have to add that. Does it look like the one that's in the shop when you start playing the, on the career mode? Or is it um, just a different version that you put in? Problem with the rotor sandwiches is they don't have grease. It's like, it's like eating a North American hamburger. It's got to have lots of grease. That going, we start ripping this apart, I guess. You want them to come with Subaru WRX? 
Was there a was there a WRX already in 2018 in the mod in the Steam Workshop? Hey Tron Chip, how you doing? So far it seems weird VR and team fixed the issues. Yeah, I haven't been having any problems with uh, with my feed and hopefully people won't have any view viewing issues. That would be nice. I feel like it's been a rough couple of weeks for streaming for me. <laughs> At first it was my own internet and then I get that resolved and uh, we run into problems with YouTube where people can't watch without like, constantly having to refresh and what a pain. Just murders viewership because people get frustrated and they just go, you know, forget this, I'm gonna go do something else. Greetings from El Paso, Texas. Hello in Texas. El Paso, El Paso. El Paso. But WRX was a mod from 2018 and I made that up completely, I have no idea what's over. <laughs> oh, okay, good. <laughs> Big off-road looking thing? Are you talking about the school bus as a big off-road looking machine? Any Volkswagens in the game? I love Volkswagen. Um, none that are branded to Volkswagen. I'm not sure about the uh, old generics. There's something like, um, what was it, like 72 cars or something in the game to, to start out with? Plus the mods. Not much that's branded right now, though. There's uh, there's only Nissan. Uh, actually, Nissan's pretty much the only branded stuff in the game because even the the electric DLC doesn't use the actual brand names. Volkswagen Ribbit in the game. You mean Rabbit? Greetings <laughs> from Portugal. Hello, Portugal, Luis. Another global audience tonight. Welcome, everyone. For anyone who's joining the stream now and didn't catch right at the beginning, the name of the game tonight is just making cash. So I'm going to be trying to flip a couple of cars. I may even flip some that are incomplete just to put money in our pocket. Depending on what we see at the junkyard. Uh, I'm trying to get to the point where we can, we can buy the McLaren. Uh, I have the mod installed, but when I went to go get one at the junkyard, it was too expensive. I haven't really been focusing on making sure we get a good stack of cash because I wasn't expecting any of the cars to be that expensive. So we're going to try and uh, build up to the point we can work on one of those. We probably won't work on it tonight, but I'll get the cash in hand so that we can tackle it next time. Oh, right. The uh, oil pan's still on this thing. Paint all the engine parts in chameleon red. <laughs> Well, today, uh, like I said, today I'm, I'm working on just trying to uh, trying to flip cars relatively quickly. So I'm skipping painting, I'm skipping wheel alignments. No trip to the dyno, no test drives. This is going to be all just about ripping them apart, rebuilding, and selling. So we can put money in our pocket. I did um, the Morena Bizzarini or whatever earlier today, which is the, um, the generic uh, Lamborghini they have in the game. That made me a couple hundred thousand, but... We need a lot more. Mer the McLaren was 26 million for you. Were you buying it uh, at an auction or what? I found one in the junkyard. It was like, I think it was 870 thousand or something. I saw one at auction, but uh, I, was, I wasn't willing to, to try to bid through it because I was sure that the price was going to go through the roof. Paint the engine gold and sell it to a rapper. <laughs> if only there was that level of customization in the game, but not so much. We can paint the engine gold, but we can't choose the buyer, so... There's not really any benefit to doing it. It's not going to boost our sale price at all. Just consumes time. Alright. Engine's done. Let's get our, uh... Alright, rotors are done. Yeah, 
Oh, so it's gold girls and rappers, not gold engines. <laughs> What's our guy? Rabbit had bigger problems than a small rear ender could rupture the gas tank and cause the car to burst into flames. Wait, more so than the Pinto? It's funny for all the all the uh, the publicity that uh, electric car fires get. There sure are a lot of dangerous, flammable internal combustion engine cars out there. <laughs> they're just don't, they don't get any publicity now because they're just it's like ah it's just another car fire. But when it's electric, it's like ooh that's clickable. Do I upgrade my parts? I'm not gonna bother. They're so expensive, it takes so much scrap. And it's a really nominal increase in the value, so... If I'm just gonna be selling the car off anyway, I don't really see the point. Plus, I, I really hate the minigame for scrapping. Yeah, I wouldn't mind owning a Tesla either. Even the Radiant R1T looks pretty cool, though it's a heavy beast. like 7,000 pounds or something. Curb weight. Okay, uh, I am going to do performance parts because, uh, you know, it boosts the value of the car when we sell it. So that's worth doing. Oh, actually, the water pump I might have fixed. I did. Don't need to buy that. Uh, in here, how do we do for crankshaft bearings? Oh, good. I fixed all those too. all bolted in. This uh, this car came from the barn, I gather, because there's there's an awful lot to the engine that normally isn't included when you get one from the junkyard. Uh, piston with Conrad. Wait, was this a, this is a six-cylinder, right? How often do I think modern ices blow up? Uh, not necessarily even blow up, but just burn up. I don't know. There's probably a thousand, a couple thousand of them a year. There's statistics out there. I haven't looked up the details. I'm not. Uh, I'm not in emotionally invested enough to bother looking it all up. Did I get the piston rings yet? <laughs> I don't remember. I'll buy them anyway, just in case. Yeah, there we go. With the mine batteries, love to burn when they get crushed. Well, it depends. Like there has to be. Uh, it has to be punctured, and it's a series of conditions that actually lead to it, but. Um, you know, you when you crush a uh, crush a car that has that's full of gasoline, it, it tends to start fires also. Like they, I think they they make for more dramatic photos though, eh? Because the um they burn so hot, it like just the whole car melts down to slag. <laughs> so that's certainly a lot more dramatic to look at. That's for sure. Good whole thermal runaway. Alright, we're gonna need one more rod cap. Crushing gas does. Yeah, of course not. But when you crush it, you break open the gas tank, and then the gas can spill out and go places where it can get a spark or a flame or hot part of the engine or whatever and burn. I mean, like I said, I don't have the statistics in front of me, but if you look up uh, road statistics, I guarantee you there are plenty of uh, plenty of car fires every year. They're just not noteworthy. It's the same thing with like plane crashes. Like plane crashes are pretty rare, all things considered, but they get tons of publicity when they happen, right? Uh, we need oil filter and grab that. Yeah. Oh, I did buy it already. The show what I know. Oh well. Planes are safe in the cars. Oh, sure they are, but when they crash, they're real dramatic. <laughs> oh, 
Like I said, it's all about what's clickable, right? Uh, I actually should have all these in performance parts. Fuel filter! Carburetor, what? How is there no... Alright, there's no performance... Nope. No performance I6 camshaft either. Isn't that interesting? Who'd have thunk it? Alright. Oops. <laughs> Gotta go in style. <laughs> And similar, although the estimated price of these safety improvements range from only $5 to $8 per vehicle, Ford evidently reasoned that the increased cost outweighed the benefits of a new tank design. Oh, are you talking about the, uh, the Pinto? There's, uh, I mean, car companies have made some pretty shady decisions over the years when you think about it. It's like, listen, we, we, we know that there's a rate at which these things are going to blow up, but let's just leave it be because... You know, the uh, the lawsuits will be cheaper than actually fixing the problem on all the existing vehicles that are already out there. <laughs> it's like the cigarette companies, they're uh, just about as honest. It's a lot of carbs, yeah, right? Three of them. I couldn't even do performance, it's so weird. Mind you, this is an older car, so, I don't know, maybe it's just one of those things where the performance parts weren't much of a thing. Camshaft caps can't be fixed, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, I'm gonna need 14 of those. Oh, I didn't pull the wheels apart yet either, did I? Gotta fix the rims. Engine didn't work on a keto diet. No. <laughs> Feed this tank nothing but protein. What engine am I building? Uh, I don't know. It's an inline six, but I don't know which one specifically. This is... Um, I mean, you can tell when you actually put the engine on the stand because it'll give you the name of it. But this is in the, the Sakura GT 200 or something, which is the uh, Toyota 3000 GT or something. It's the generic one. <laughs> Welcome to corporate America. Yeah. <laughs> well, corporate anything where there's profit involved, right? You can get performance parts for V8 overhead valves, so no idea about that. It, yeah, I don't know. It could just be a kind of thing where someone was more likely to do performance parts on a V8 than on an older inline six. I don't know. Beats me. I just builds it. Uh, all these. Wait a minute, do I need two of those? Oh yeah, I do. Dope. Dope. No, don't need that. Uh. Water pump pulley, I only need one. I've already tagged it. Very nice. What species did the 3000 GT? I don't know. I6 for not 2000 GT. 2000, yeah, I don't know, whatever. It's a car. It's a, It's an older car. <laughs> <laughs> I am not super knowledgeable on cars, as you might have guessed. <laughs> oh, engine block. What? That's not what I meant to tag. There we go. Not off your brother. Easy work on straight four of gas mileage. Oh, yeah. 
2018, uh, you can get all performance parts for that car. Well, it's sort of, it, yeah, but 2018, they've also had more updates. So each time they put out an update, they were putting up more of the performance parts. So there's still uh, still relatively limited options for performance parts in this one. I'm sure as they as they continue to add DLCs and updates and stuff, they'll keep adding more performance parts. But for right now, they're not here. I guess it gives us something to look forward to. Uh, I'm gonna need distributor. Ooh, that won't work. That's an eight. Shoot. I wonder if I was actually able to fix the other part. Did we fix the distributor cap? Is that a thing? No, oh, it was. Huh. I only had one clip B, though. We need a second one. Be cool with the Fast and the Furious mod. I should be surprised if they didn't have that. Now here's a here's a question. Do they have inline six ignition wires? No. I thought it'd be funny if they actually had uh, had the ignition wires as a performance part but not other pieces. Clearly that's not the case. Left. Is that it? Time for the gearbox. We'll just do the gearbox when we get out to the uh, point of installing it. All right, we're good. Engine's done. Ammo. Give me some cash. Slap this in. So this is the inline six DOHC, and I can't remember what the DOHC stands for. Direct something or other hydrocarbon. <laughs> Make it up as I go. I'm a I'm the new kind of mechanic. Uh, let's get all this stuff ripped apart. I think the rims are in good enough shape. We can fix all four of those. Double overhead cam. Thank you. Major brain part. Oh, see, it's the Homer engine. <laughs> nice. Don't. I think someone needs to mod in the car that Homer designed. I think that would be the one to do. If you could get Homer's Homer's designed car in this game, that would be the ultimate vehicle. Don't only hunt Granaries. All right, fix up our, whoops, not there. Ah, I broke one. I was able to fix all of them and I broke one. Darn it. Uh, I'm assuming it's the rim retro, not the rim modern. 15 inch rim retro. Um, rims. Yeah, we're gonna need to put some rubber on here too. We got tire wise here. 65 ADR15s. Four of them. Good enough. One sixty-five ADR fifteens. Boop. Oh, I need shocks too, I guess. Uh, apparently I had stuff in my inventory. I'm gonna need to check them. <laughs> sub, cause why not? Well, welcome Cybercat. Thanks for the sub. 
Welcome to our car mechanic hot mess over here. Potato aim with the tire balancer now, too. Tires acquired. Okay, right, let's get this thing put back together now. Uh, hmm. We're gonna need a front exhaust section because I can't replace that. Can't fix it, rather. You know what? Actually, let me, uh, let me clear up my shopping list here. Oh, it's gonna be a mess. Battery, front exhaust section. Uh, do we have the radiator? No, we don't. Radiator. Windshield washer reservoir. We've got all of our fuses here. Oops. All right. B and three of these ones. Oh, I should have got the battery walls in there. That would have been a good idea. Oh, front exhaust section. I wonder if is there a performance bar for that? Nope. Heart squared. What happens if you put a fuse in backwards? Uh, hold on, nothing. Unfortunately, the game doesn't require directions for anything. It takes care of all that. Pretty sure it's the same resistance either way, though. <laughs> oh, dude, French fries with cheese. How does it make them dirty fries? Is that just a name or do you not like french fries with cheese and therefore it's dirty? And your season. Wait a minute. I'm missing something here. Why is there no fan for this radiator? Did they really not have one? I've got points on here that look like they theoretically should have rollers or something. What did I do wrong here? I feel like I messed something up somehow. We'll find out soon enough, but I don't see anything that's outlined that I gotta add to it. That's gonna, that's gonna vex me. Oh well, whatever. Let's see what happens. Dad used to buy his own retired RCMP police cars. Uh, the what's were so powerful they had speed limiters installed before the auction. Oh yeah. I can see that, I guess. They're like, listen, we don't want to be selling to our competition out here. Didn't miss a fan. There is no fan. All right. All right. Old school. Cools by airflow only, I guess. Uh, springs. Need two of these. Need a cap back here. Little shocks. 
pretty sure it's the bees. Yep. The fan goes by airflow only too. Yeah, but it's it's using the engine power to drive the fan, and therefore it's not strictly just airflow. In my brain, anyway. Don't make my brain be logical. It doesn't know how. Rubber bushings. Mm, rubber bushings. All right, one side done. Uh, let's get our fuel tank in here. Fuel pump. Now we can get in the performance shop. This car, your passenger blows into the vents to cool the engine up. Oh, that's a handy way to do it. Keeps them busy too, so they stay out of trouble. To try that, give them a really long straw or something. Whoops. Gadget brakes. Just take out the trader achievement in CMS 21. Renovate and sell 50 cars. 0.1% of players have it. You fixed and sold the McLaren F1 for almost 19 million. Yeah, someone said early on uh, in the stream that they sold one for that much too. I'm still not even up to the point where I have enough cash to buy one, so um, that's what we're working on right now. Today's stream is all about making money, storing cars just to flip them and turn them into cash. We need the cash. Imagine even the parts for the uh, the body components to, re to repair the McLaren will be really expensive. It's not enough to have just the money to to uh, to buy it in the junkyard. We need to make sure we have enough money to actually work on it. Probably relatively important, I think. What am I saving up for? So I installed the uh, I installed the mod for the uh, the F1 McLaren, but it's crazy expensive, even in the junkyard. No, oh, apparently I didn't get any of my any of my gearbox parts. Um, super expensive, even in the junkyard. So I, I need to save up enough money that we can work on it. Uh, we have to buy it first, obviously, but once we do buy it, it's gonna take a lot of money, I imagine, to repair it, and so. We're building up, building up a war chest. Get your parts for it from the junkyard. Yeah, but that takes a lot of like hunting over and over again in the junkyard to be able to find the pieces you need. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna be even racing this. I'm just gonna put the standard gearbox in this thing. Or no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I don't know if it'll affect the uh, the custom performance parts thing if I don't use a custom gearbox. Because you do get a boost for uh, using custom, or uh, using performance parts. I still love how it sends you all the way to the back of the car to put the, uh, the the drive shaft in. Listen, we got these bolts up at the front of the car we need to tighten. The only reasonable way to do this is from the very back. We'll take care of it.
Just need over a million to buy and fix up some body parts or loan close to. Yeah, yeah, I expected. I, like I said, when I, I think when I saw it in the auction, or not in the auction, in the uh, in the junkyard, it was over eight hundred thousand just to buy the wrecked car. So, you know, I already didn't have enough money for it. So I, I restored the uh, another one of the Moreno Bizzarinis and made a couple hundred thousand off of that. Because I just had one sitting in my parking garage. This thing too, it was sitting in my parking garage, so I thought, you know, let's just, let's make use of this thing since we have it. We'll fix it and flip it, turn it into cash. And then we'll go out to the junkyard after this and we'll go find some other cars we can do this with. Um, some of which I might actually just do minor repairs, just to quickly make cash and then get into another car that we can make money on. Yeah, we'll see. Do I remember the blinker fluid? I always forget the fluids, man. The blinker fluid, the oil, various other unimportant liquids. The worst part is they go into the store and I'm always looking for the blinker fluid and they never have it to sell to me. They're always out of stock. Worst service ever. First me, I probably need to put the uh, shocks together. Do a Toyota car. Never see people fixing uh, people like you fix Toyota cars. Never see people like me. Who's people like me? Uh, should I be offended by this? As a non-Toyota owner, <laughs> I just pretty much fix what I find that looks neat. Um, I don't even know if I've seen a Toyota in the game yet. I'm sure there must be, but because they're not, uh, they're not actually branded. Sometimes don't notice what they are. We'll see what the junkyard has to offer. We'll we'll grab whatever's there. Fast flip a couple things. Store some things. This one is a Toyota. Yeah, it is. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we're working on the uh, the 2000 GT. Uh, I didn't tag that. Ow! That's not right. That won't do it all. This one I bought it for the other side, I only bought one. Whoops! What if it's gonna sell for a million plus like the real car? Which the, um, it depends what you're referring to. If you're talking about the McLaren, it sells for like 19 million. In this game, anyway. Destroying lots of cars and have uh, up to 1.2 million. Your junk card car tip helped me start off. Nice. Glad it was helpful, Tommy. Yeah, it, it's a really only something you need to like prime the pump, right? Because you, you have to have enough money to get started flipping cars. Once you have enough money to flip them, you make the most money by, by fully repairing them. It takes more time, obviously, but when you want to get to that point where you can start to work on them, it uh, I figured it would help. Okay, uh, we've got all the shocks and stuff done up here. I guess we can get the wheels on. So we already have those taken care of. Can you find a model for like a Toyota Hilux? Well, I I'm not sure what Toyotas are in the core part of the game. And then after that, it's really just a function of what people have made in terms of mods. There's not that many mods out just yet for the game. Um, I think some of the modders started working on some of the more popular mods that they had in 2018. Updating them to work in CMS 2021. Um, with maybe like some new stuff added, but I don't know to what extent. 
Yeah, we're not making a lot of profit on this thing. Oh yeah, the exhaust samples. All right, manifolds and fluid, and this thing's good for sale. Getting that sweet hard cash. So we can turn it into more cars. You don't need no stinking oil. The Shakura sort of favors the Nissan Fair Lady. I thought there was one that was uh, was already the Nissan Fair Lady. Didn't they add that in? Was that part of the mod or not the mod? Part of the DLC? A car except the F1 sells about three hundred thousand ish. Yeah, even the Lamborghini sells for uh, two hundred fifty thousand, something like that. McLaren's insane at like 19 million. Okay, all that's done. Uh, oh, need uh, need brake fluid in here. The LC comes with the. Oh, okay, yeah. Fairly did was the free thrifty ZA built already. Oh, was it? That was the fair lady. Okay, take your word for it. What do I know about cars? Nothing. That's what I know. Damn. 100% across the board. That gets us uh, a profit of $62,312, ignoring what we spent on the parts, of course. It's alright, though. Get it out of here. Give me the money. 891000 Need more. Uh, what do we got out front here? Nice box, tidy sum. Yeah, not bad for like, well, actually, that took us almost an hour. <laughs> I don't know that that was worth it for that 60000 We probably could have flipped a bunch of cars from the junkyard for that. Uh, all right, let's go to the junkyard. See what we can get our hands on. I thought at first it was a Jag. Nope, not so much. They do have a few Toyotas though in the CMS, the 80 something model that have. Yeah, so that one I, I just did was the. Um, what was that, a 59 or something? Oh, here we go. This should be worth some, some cash. Maybe. Oof. As soon as I take it back home, it's already going to be worth less than what I paid for it. No, you know what? We'll grab this one anyway, because it looks like it's got a reasonable number of parts in it. So, well, the body, we got the rear bumper, the lights, there's no doors, the hood. Yeah, there's going to be limited body components to fix on it, unfortunately. This one, I might not do a complete re restoration. We might just flip it. We'll buy it and send it back anyway. Back to the garage. The garage. Use it for parts. <laughs> yeah, we, we might be able to get some parts for our other car out of it, yeah. Because we have that other, uh, other DC Typhoon we're working on. You take the parts off that and use it for the scrap car you have on the lift? I could, yeah. Some of them, probably. Some of them. Car there. Who's hiding all the cars? The Luxor Bowen. Eesh. These are not these are not high value cars. Like they're just not gonna make as much money. Even doing the quick flip on them, I can only expect a few thousand. Oof. What are you? Oh, FMW Panther Mark One. Okay, so this one's probably worth flipping. Buy that. Send that to the garage. It'll be under a hundred thousand, but at least it'll be uh, it'll be something. 
Ooh, here we go. Oh man, this thing has so much wrong with it. <laughs> Tempest Magnum. 10,212 buy price. All right, we'll take it all. We're not being picky today. We're just churning for money. Did a full restore on one. 15 million profit gave 200,000 for the salvage auction. For the McLaren, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty, uh... No, that can't be the McLaren at 200,000. What was that? What gave you 15 million profit when you bought it for 200,000? Good flipping, but only can buy them at auction. Oh, yeah, yeah. Shoes am I wearing? I have no feet! Oh my god! Not wearing any shoes. Cadillac should also give money. I mean, you can make money on all of them. It's just a question of, of like how much you're going to get off it, I guess. Thought you seen an El Camino there? Oh, maybe I missed it. Should fix my most favorite car. I don't really necessarily have a most favorite car in the game. I'm, I'm right now. I'm just fixing things to to make money. So for anyone who's joining the stream a little bit later than the beginning here, uh, my goal is to make money to work on the McLaren. Um. But it's really expensive to buy, even from the junkyard. So we're just we're just building up a war chest of cash in order to work on that thing. Is the live stream not crazy anymore? Uh, I don't know. Hopefully it's okay. Does Lister Machine livery come with a mod, or is it or game? Is it a mod? No, it's um. I actually created that livery for, that's on that one. There is a different one that's in the Steam Workshop. Uh, but it's a it's a mod. It's not part of the core game. Eh, washed it and got it close to the uh, close to the purchase price. Was that something? Get on the lift. I'm not gonna do a full restore on this one. Let's just try to max cash on it quickly. Although there's not really many body parts on this one. If I buy some, I can probably boost the value pretty quick. And all these over here. But we'll restore the outer body on it. We'll leave the, all the mechanicals pretty much. Aside from the engine block and stuff, we'll take that out and quickly deal with it. Not even a bumper or anything I can fix on this thing. Oh, there's a fender. <laughs> yeah, none of the body parts on this thing are going to be fixable. It's just, it's just trashed. Okay. It's gonna give me a fifteen million dollar loan. <laughs> I'll tell you what, you'll find me on some hidden tropical island afterwards. Oops. I have to buy this game again just with a mod. Some of the cars look really good. Yeah, the, the mod community does a really awesome job. I like, too, that the, um, you can vote on the mods and stuff. See, it tends to, like, percolate all the good ones up to the top. Kind of cool. Let's haul the engine out. We'll quickly fix the block on this thing. This won't be a full restore. We're just going to churn through some parts here for cash. Bought an Adam Renton Tesla Roadster. Oh yeah, yeah. The uh, the electric cars in this game are what I really want to get my hands on because they're uh, they're good money. Get those things restored and you're in good shape. Uh, any body parts I can fix? <laughs> I can fix them here. Woo, go me. All right, clear all this out. Uh. Body station. Oh god, which mirror did I fix? <laughs> I don't remember which one I fixed. Oh, 
is not the left side mirror. All right. Speaking of islands, there are islands in Scotland that's for sale for seventy thousand dollars. No people, lots of wildlife. Oh, that's cool. And own your own private island, a resort out of it. Overcharge people to come visit. If I flip it as a as I would be fifteen k up. Sorry, what now? I didn't quite follow the that line of point there. We're not, even gonna be, we're not even gonna put like the good license plates on it. We'll just use bad ones. Oh, I didn't take one of these windows out. That <laughs> already looks like a decent car. Well, aside from that weird mirror and the lack of an interior seating. Let's see. If they be a pan. Oops. Don't. Interiors. Yo. Okay, let's go rip the engine apart. We'll see what we can fix on that. And then uh, we're out of here. Flip this one over. Little Lord 2K, you'd be hitting the big 100K grants. Yeah, getting close there. A little under 2K, actually. Um, what am I at? Like 98,005? Something like that? It's like 1,500. Something like that. Unless YouTube decided to purge subs today, in which case. Darn you, YouTube. <laughs> they do that sometimes. Uh, where do I pull a part over here? There we go. That's out. Now what? Cam gears. Those won't be fixable, but that's alright. Same thing with this camshaft cap. Ooh, actually, I didn't uh, I didn't throw away the uh, stuff from the last car we did. So I might be able to complete more of this engine a little bit with some of the parts that I had from that. At least one rod cap, two rod caps, three. Now it's gotta flip. Flip it over. Subscribe. Welcome, Sean. Thanks for subscribing. 1.3k. Yeah, we're getting there. It's uh, it's been a long, slow climb to be honest. The last couple of years, I'd have to say uh, it's been steady progression, but it's been a lot slower than it was, say, I don't know, a couple of years ago. Probably because I, honestly, it's because I played Fortnite a little bit. When it first, when it was like very, very first out, and uh, those videos drove a lot of traffic, and then the early uh, CMS 2018 videos did really well too. But I play such a variety of stuff that uh, does tend to hamper results a little bit. But yeah, it's been good. Almost a hundred thousand. Can't believe it. When did YouTube's delay become as good as Twitch's? Um, they have different options available when you're streaming. So for whoever schedules the stream, they can choose the regular delay, which is really long. It's like 30 to 45 seconds or something. It's really big. Um, there's a, a shortened delay, um, which I think is somewhere around 20 seconds in that neighborhood. And then there's like a super short one that you can pick. And that one, I think, is like a 10 or 15 second delay, something like that. So it's still delayed, but it's not its not as good as, like, uh, Mixer had that, like, faster than light, or whatever they called it. Which was really quick. Um, it's not that quick, but it's, uh, it's not bad. Engine block fixed. Crankshaft fixed. I'm gonna put in the old pistons and con rods because I don't care. So 
one's all about the cash monies. So some of the parts we can put on this are actually damaged from the prior vehicle we were working on. But it won't matter. Because uh, it'll add to the completion of the vehicle and increase the value a little bit. Even though they aren't any good. So we had like one extra rod cap there, for example. So it's not much. Yeah, only one. Uh, all right. Do I have an old oil filter? I do not. Uh, fuel filter? Damn. Didn't have one of those before. This is at a weird angle. All right, I'm also gonna stick in this thing. Engine head we should have fixed. Yep, that's good. Fast and light. I came for the Oni, stayed for the other content. Personality, slash personality, true story. Yeah, most people come in the door not because of the personality, because they don't know you, right? When it comes to like a gaming YouTuber anyway, it's, it's usually about the game that you're playing initially. And then people make a decision about whether they like your style of playing the game or commentating or whatever. And some stick around, some don't. No exhaust manifold, no timing shoes. I think that's it for this particular engine. I guess I could put the, uh, put the, uh, clutch stuff back together. All right, get that out of there. Slap her back in. <laughs> it feels so bad to put it in there with an unfinished, but... Uh, was there anything else I had pulled out of here? Apparently not. <laughs> I, am like, I don't even have any of these leftovers from the other car we did. Alright. Well, that's that. What about a muffler? Do we have a muffler? No. Someone has made an auto scrapper mod for CMS21 and is working on an auto repair mod. Yay! So is the auto scrapper mod basically just a clicker or does it actually change the way that it operates? stuff. Oh, old fuel tank. Yes. Battery. Don't have that. <laughs> None of this stuff. Alright, that's it. I think we're good. Let's see how much value we got out of this. So we uh, we worked on this for, what, 15 minutes, I think, in total? Made 8173 bucks in profit. Um, probably a little bit less than that because I bought, I bought body components for it. Sold. Ching. Uh, I think I'm gonna sell everything in my inventory. Yeah, the increased value I'm gonna get on any of this, like any of these, like minor increases in the uh, completion of the car, is probably not really gonna help. So we'll just sell all this. I don't feel like scrapping any of it. It's a clicker, but a fast clicker, like this click, 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 click. Oh, I see. What are we fixing tonight? Uh, we're just fixing a bunch of random stuff tonight to make cash. The name of the game tonight is all about making money. Because I want to I want to do the McLaren and we don't have enough money. So we're just quickly working on stuff to make money. All right, have a good night, Ham. Any of the warehouses so you can fix up and then sell for extra cash? Uh, yeah, I probably do have some stuff there. A couple things anyway. We've got a Bolt Reptile, and well, the DeLorean's already finished, so I could technically sell that. I just don't want to. 
So the Bolt Reptilia is the only other thing we have there. But we grabbed a couple things from the junk here. Look, we, we turned a profit already just by washing it. <laughs> Not much, mind you, but something. This one I think we'll do a full restore on and see how much money value we can get out of it. Now there's like no body parts to take off of this thing. <laughs> yeah, I normally do most of my old car flipping in State of Decay. <laughs> most of those aren't really that old, though, so I don't know if that counts. What well, else have the body to take off, huh? Alright. Dig this out, though. That's the same as my other fixer, fixer up. It is, yeah. This is the one I've been working on gradually, though. Like, we painted it and everything. My project car. Oh, is YouTube skipping again? Turn you, YouTube. Sell the mystery machine? We could, but we're not really going to get a whole lot of money for that, I don't think. Plus, I kind of like the mystery machine. So far, the only things I've hold on to are the mystery machine and the, uh... The DeLorean we did. Everything else I've sold off. Ah, uh, yeah, I haven't done the welder yet. Behind the driver's seat is a body piece? Okay, I'll take a look. Oh, is it that um, the frame that sticks up there? The roll bar or whatever? That's a separate removable piece, huh? Alright. That's cool. That's right, we gotta keep the mystery machine so we can go and party in it later. Like Zoink Scoop! That's where we have our Scooby Snacks, man. Stream SnowRunner someday. I did play it actually. We we streamed it a little bit. That's a good game too. Always too many games to play and not enough time. As I've said before, I should be doing this as a full time gig with all the uh, all the different games that are out there. I had I had the worst itch today to play uh, some more State of Decay too, <laughs> but we already played it like three days in a row. So I was like, ah, I better. Uh, Better do some uh, some car mechanic servicing in here. <laughs> Cause Diver with a super chat. Beer is on me, if you anyway. Good night. Thanks, Cause Diver. Appreciate the super chat. It's very generous of you. Thank you for the support. Mm, beer. Okay, over here. I'm gonna buy one of the electric cars and bought it for 27,000. Do you think you can make a profit? Oh yeah, the electric cars you make a ton of money on because you can fix the battery packs. And the battery packs are worth a fortune. I wanna get my hands on one to fix up so we can make some extra cash. What value is that in Mexican dollar? Uh, that amount is about somewhere in the neighborhood of $25. I did mention it. What are you talking about? 
500 Mexican dollars, Mexican pesos. It's about 25 bucks. I called it out. What skills need to fix the battery packs? Uh, it, uh, in terms of like what repair skill level, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't even know if it says over here. I don't know what tier of parts it is. Group five, like it doesn't tell you what's in the groups. So I have mine maxed out, so I, I don't know. If you have your, your renovator skill maxed out, then it won't matter. If you don't, then I'm honestly not sure what tier level you need. Oh, I have skill points. Um, that costs six, so we're not doing that. We'll do this one. Place parts a little quicker. I realize I leveled up. Oops. Renovator, I hardly knew her. Har, har, har. <laughs> That's like an old dad joke. Back when they were all either sexist or racist or something of that nature. Hey Goku, I'm good, how are you? Currency marker, I thought it was 500 US, but it's still... Yeah, it's still great. I mean, it's it was a very generous super chat, but it wasn't $500. <laughs> I would have been a little more blown, uh, a little more ex I don't know, I, I don't know, I don't want to sound insulting. <laughs> I would have been a little more mind blown, I think, if it was a $500 one. But very generous. Dad jokes could be cheesy as well. Oh yeah, that's all they are, really. <laughs> the thing is, any bad joke these days is... is Classified as a dad joke. They don't really have criteria so much anymore. Like Velveeta. <laughs> I never said I was complaining. <laughs> not that rude. I mean, I'm rude, but I'm not that rude. That'd be like Nate, Nate Sheriff kind of rude. Is Nate here, by the way? <laughs> I think he's still streaming right now. Dad jokes are just bad jokes that it took two steps too far. Yeah, pretty much, pretty much. My kids have come to regret anytime they give me an opportunity to slide a dad joke in at this point. Oh, see the, uh, the roll bars back here are not separate. It fixed them as part of the body. Cool. Not detachable, I guess. Yeah, that's gonna look cool. Oh, we still got the engine in there. We should probably take that out. Get that out of ye! Alright, I'm gonna see what I can fix on the body first, which probably will be almost nothing. Oh, the hood. Oh, that's something. At least that'll match up with the stripe. All right, the hood and the bumper. It's pretty limited. All right, the rest of it we're gonna need to buy. Uh, so we're gonna need doors and glass. What do we got? Hood lights. Uh, rear bumper we've got. Bam. I can't even see it. <laughs> the outline is so faded in. What? I didn't buy the bumper. Hmm. 
Man, those mirrors would be really easy to miss against that white... White car body. Uh, we got the license plates while we're here too, I guess. Plates. Standard. Typhoon and two C. All right, it's already looking pretty good, actually. Oh, sweet! I like that color pattern. That's really cool. Okay. Oh, uh, shocks can come apart. Wheels can come apart. Question, did you get a bunch of hail around six? I have no idea. I know they were they were calling for storms in southern Ontario, but uh I wasn't upstairs to see it, so I don't know. Down here in the basement I'm pretty isolated from what's going on outside. <laughs> My garage is like Carol Shelby's factory. Yeah, pretty much, right? Oh, did I forget the windshield? That's probably important, huh? You don't need no stinking windshield. Thank you. Uh, this go. Oh, got no more of those. No more of those. One single rotor to do. I think I only got like one rim too. So much for feeling the wind whipping through our hair. Oh yeah. There'll be no wind whipping. No wind whipping at all. You have to hang your head out the side of the door. Mind you, the windshield's pretty short in this car. Your head might stick out over top of it anyway. Sorry, I'll be right back in a second. I'm coughing up a lung here. I gotta get some gotta get some water. Ah, much better. Sorry, everyone. Need to wet my whistle a little bit. This is Fox. Oh, hi, honey. Strange that you're awake now. Did the, was there a lot, bunch of thunder or something to wake you up? Or was it your husband being too loud in the basement again? <laughs> Greetings and salutations, Wayside. Ah, oh, stupid thing, I broke it. Hey, Jay Martin. How about in the emergency basement bunker for sing alongs? Yeah. That's when the power goes out, and then they really don't want to be down here. It's dark and spoopy in the basement. She wants me to go quiet the storm? Um, I don't know if I can manage that. <laughs> 
can't even quiet my kids. Never mind quieting a storm. You still have long to sleep with the sound of rain on the north side. Yeah, rain I'm good with. Yeah, thunder's not that bad either, actually. I guess for sleeping. Quickly, nothing left there. Okay. Time to start reassemble my Lee. Oh, wait a minute. No, it's not. I didn't pull the engine apart. Ah, whatever. We'll do the suspension first, I guess. So I gotta rip the engine apart in this thing here. Drums. Gotta buy those. Uh, brakes. Okay, let's get, uh, I don't believe pads, so we might as well grab those. We'll grab our drums while we're here, too. I did one of the rotors, but we'll get a second one. Oop, oh, big wheel on my face. Star engine? Nope. Uh, today we're just working on making some cash because I wanted to get the uh, whoops. Uh, I want to get the uh, the McLaren mod, and I need a bunch of cash for that. So that's our focus tonight. Is just uh, just flipping cars for the purposes of making money. Uh, I'm not gonna spend all that time and effort to make a three star vehicle or a three star engine or anything like that, or something. I'm just flipping. It takes way too much scrap and far too much time. Plenty of luck will change it around so that the scrap is a little bit more easily accessible. Because the way it stands now, it's kind of a pain. Uh, I need a fuel tank. We're gonna be doing the car, we might as well do it with performance parts too. It'll get us a little more money. Ah, can't even type. Want to make a uh, completely two star car and parts, Fox, to stand out from everyone else? <laughs> Instead of a three star, I'm gonna get a two star. <laughs> Call it three star on a budget. Everyone that I've talked to who made a point of like getting enough scrap to make a three star car. That it was 100% not worth it, and they wanted to like just like tear their eyes out before they were finished. It doesn't really make me feel all warm and fuzzy about doing it. <laughs> Two thirds of a star. How much would a three-star McLaren F1 be? In terms of value? I don't know. In terms of scrap? 40,000 scrap or something? Sure it'd be something insane. I don't, oh, well, that was not right. Uh, I don't know if it's, um, I don't know if it's the same amount of scrap regardless of the vehicle you're doing or what. So even before trying, it's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like I said, I've, I've talked to some other people that have done it, and uh, 
seen their videos where they're like, oh my god, make it end. <laughs> It's not, uh, I mean, I'm sure they, uh, I'm sure they went through it anyway because it was, uh, it was for a video or whatever, but, uh, <laughs> in terms of, like, just raw enjoyment of the game, that, that does not seem like the thing to do. At least they had a financial incentive because they were doing a video. You can attest to that, waste of time, never again, yep. <laughs> Need 40,000 new scrap for the average car. One junkyard trip averages 1,400 scraps. From 9K to 12K. So that's a lot of trips to the junkyard just to get scrap. Sounds great. Absolutely the way I want to spend about six hours of my time. <laughs> thunder outside so loud. I See, I'm in the basement. I, I, if there's thunder outside, I can't even hear it. But my wife did get woken up by it, so it must be... Uh, must be some decent storm. Mind you, she's a light sleeper. Ah, so what I want. Did I already tag that thing? Where the heck is it? Oh, here it is. God. Springs. Thirteen star part increases value by hundred dollars sometimes at most. Yeah, that's what. Uh, oh shoot, I gotta put that together. Um, that's what I've heard is that that's where the the like the value of doing it just doesn't doesn't play out. You spend a like a crazy amount of time to get the scrap and then you don't really increase the value by all that much. So I'm just gonna say, nope. Not today, Satan. As Gray is fond of saying. Thank you, Spring should go with Sproings. <laughs> or, or Sprungs, maybe. It's like that rhymes. The spring is sprung, the grass is green. I wonder where the birdies been. Uh, front steering knuckle. Ow. I bet you the top one's busted too. Oh no, that one's alright. Gotta get the bottom though. You make a three-star car for yourself, not to sell. Yeah. It, it's unfortunate, but there's not really a good way to display the cars in this game, even. Like, you can put it in your garage, but then you just never see it again. That's why I left the mystery machine out front, because I like it. If I put it in the parking garage, it just goes into the void, and it might as well be gone. Huh. Caliper, eh? If I need a cylinder too. I sure did. Need to add a showroom for you to shop. Well, they have a showroom, but it's only got like three cars or something in it when you show up. So it, it is there. It's just not, it's not exactly what you'd call extensive. Uh, are there performance muffler Ds? Nope. Not much of an exhaust system in this car, huh? Okay, uh, race tire B. You know, I don't even care about driving this thing, so we're just gonna get the, uh, we're gonna get the tires that it has on it. We don't need nothing fancy. Rims, I need one more of. And then the tires, oops. Oh my god, I can't type. There we go. 225, 65 R17s are all the same. That's fine. 
255. Wait, or was it two? No, there are two different sizes. 255s and 225s. All right. 225, 65 R17s. 225, 65. And the other ones are 255s. Oh, shoot, what was the other number? <laughs> 65. There we go. Box you shop not to shop in. What? I are confused. Is that in English? <laughs> Find this game with Sims 3. <laughs> Red Dot said we'll look into it, the garage, but it's due to an engine limitation. Oh, I see. Oh, well that's interesting. It's funny because they can display multiple cars out in front of your garage, but I guess there comes a point where this, like the system, oh, God. just put that thing together. <laughs> I guess there comes a point where like the system resources it would take to display it all becomes a, becomes a problem. So they got to work within certain limitations. I guess you can't have everything. Messing everything up over here. Keeps a low profile low profile fifties though, the traction limitation. Yeah, we're probably not even gonna drive this thing. I the uh well actually we haven't done the Shelby yet, maybe we should. Um did I, I did not get that other rim, did I? Uh where's my Rim Typhoon? 17 inch. There we go, that's better. Maybe we will take this one for a spin. We haven't done any today. I'm not gonna bother painting it though, or worrying about the dyno. That was not, I wasn't even paying attention there. Uh, 255. Big sprawling parking lot with lag, quote. Yeah, although in, in um, CMS 20, uh, 2018, they did have that parking garage where you would have, I think you could have something like 10 cars at a time. Yeah, if you tried to show all the cars, like, theoretically it would lag bad because somebody could have like 100 cars in there or something. But they, they kind of had a neat way of doing it in CMS 2018 where you would go to a level of the parking garage and you could have something like 10 cars there. And if you wanted to see other ones, you would just go to a different level. I don't know. Might maybe it's just not something that's feasible, but it would be nice to have, I guess. Right, I don't have battery. All that stuff. All them good stuffs. Oops, wrong section. Still haven't even taken the engine apart on this thing yet. Uh, battery. Alright, really tape seed. Well, five of them. 
Hey, glad I caught the stream today. Hey, Damien, how you doing? Frankly, getting sick of seeing DeLoreans in the junkyard and the barns every time I go there. I, yeah, I actually wonder if they set the frequency of occurrence of that car really high. But they also, um, there's like six different versions of it, so like bumping into it and the parts for it is you know, relatively easy too. But yeah, I've, I've seen a lot of them also. <laughs> Fluids, we don't need no stinking fluids. We don't even have an engine in here yet. I'm not, not too concerned about the fluids just yet. We pulled the engine out, but I haven't even ripped it apart to rebuild it. That I don't have. We're good, yo Fox, can you change uh, an in-game visual setting? You know that thing in the supercharger intake does where it just blurs? Oh, yeah, yeah. Apparently that's an anti-aliasing setting called TAA. Oh, really? So the TAA does that? Why do I have motion blur on? That's weird. Anti-aliasing, TAA. So if I put it on SMAA, will it be better? <laughs> I didn't realize I had motion blur on either. That's really lame. Usually I turn that off. I just sort of left the settings alone, I guess.